Hey, it's time for our video picks of the month. Jerry Shank from Four Star Video is here. Good to see you again. Mm -hmm. We have uh, we have four movies to recommend. All of them have strange carryings on. Okay. And one of two of them are based on true stories, and one of them is a documentary. That's based such. on a true story, and I'm just giving this prominence, although it's certainly got plenty of Academy Award nominations, because people aren't renting it like they should. Okay, The Imitation Game, which is a true story, based on a true story of Alan Turing, who used a proto-computer before there were computers to help end World War II early by breaking the Nazi code. It's a very suspenseful movie. The way he is treated is absolutely shameful. Why? Hmm? Well, first of all, because he's a little bit of a, probably Asperger's syndrome, but you know, not social. A lot of people just dits on him. And then after the war, you'll have to watch the movie. He is treated in a way that is just, everyone should hang their head in shame. But it's a good movie. But I, yeah, weird I, carryings on, yeah. as you can tell. All right, next is <laughs> a girl walks home <laughs> I alone don't like that. I don't like the at son of that night. Laugh. <laughs> All right, now this is, as I told you, just your typical first-time director female Iranian horror film <laughs> with a vampire in full robe female roaming the streets at night on a skateboard. <laughs> so if you don't like that kind of thing... <laughs> I, you know, I get tired of that. You over get tired and, of that. Over, over and over you see the same thing. It's, it, it's, again, a horror movie, kind of. I found it a stitch. It's very funny. It's making fun of several Western genres, and it's all Iranian. And, uh, you know, you just don't quite expect this. I love the title. Yes. Well, that's the vampire lady. <laughs> or perhaps there's also a streetwalker who walks alone at home. But, but beware vampires on skateboards. They're up to no good. I, Duly noted. Duly noted. Duly noted. But it's a, it's a comedy? Well, no, I thought it was funny. I'm not sure what the director thought. No, she's, she's poking fun at us. Yeah, tongue in cheek. Yeah, very much. Okay. And fangs in neck. There also, you go. There yes. you go. Next is uh, A Walk Among the Tombstones, uh, which is a detective story. Matthew Scooter, if any of you follow him as a detective, you know, it's a series uh, of books on him. This is pretty gritty. It involves murder, it's Liam Neeson. But it does what good detective stories do. It keeps introducing secondary characters that aren't there very long, who are really fascinating. I love the discussion between he and a, and a young man who's homeless about whether or not Matthew Scooter is a good name for a detective. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he should be named Philip Marlowe or Sam Spade. I mean, you know, yeah. discussions like that. It, it's very gritty and very funny and a good mystery. And I like Liam Neeson. Liam a Neeson is very good at it. All right, next, talk about strange goings on, is a Penn and Teller documentary, Tim's Vermeer. Tim discovers that Vermeer may have used mechanical means to make his paintings rather than usual, you know, hold your thumb up and, you know, kind mm -hmm. of stuff. And so he tries to reproduce a Vermeer using what he thinks Vermeer did. So he has to go to Holland and talk to people, go to Buckingham Palace so he can look at the actual painting he wants to reproduce, rebuild the whole set for the painting, and then do it his way. And it is fascinating. And who's doing this? Uh, an inventor. Oh, it's not Penn Pen no, and no, Teller. No, Penn and Teller are, uh, well, Penn in particular is narrating the thing. No, it, it's a guy named Tim. Uh, and, but it's, uh, it's even moving. He gets so involved in this when he realizes he's hit on something. Vermeer probably used mechanical means a camera obscura and a mirror uh, to do his painting. Really? And that, you know, uh, it's, 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 and you see this guy do this and imitate the Vermeer. It's just fascinating. And uh, Makes reproductions of the, the famous paintings? Only one. He does one. Takes him 180 days or something like that uh, to do that. And uh, David Hawking comes into the picture and talks about it, and British artist and so on. So it's, it's a good documentary. It's just it's, it's true, fine. True story. True story. Well, yeah, you see it right there in front. You see him do it. Great stuff. Good variety. Watch these. I will. And don't forget the imitation game. You should be shocked and sorrowed. All right. If you didn't get the, the titles, or channel3000.com and all available at Four Star Video. Jerry, I'll see you in a month. Okay. We'll be right back with a final check here with us.